here we are, driving again. Also, I was uh, in Spain for a couple of weeks on a holiday. That's also the reason I don't have made another video. There was a fr friendly Englishman who had at least three bikes, I think, three dirt bikes and one quad. There's a lot of money that guy, but he was very friendly to lend me one of his dirt bikes and have any gear with me. So <laughs> I just drove it with a, a long trousers, or how do you say it, uh, uh, a pants, normal pants, a t-shirt and some regular, regular low shoes, legs, leg, oh my god, yeah. It all went fine. The first uh, day I went for a ride. I went for two and a half hours drive. It was the first time I drove in, a, in the mountains. So normally in, a, in my country, <laughs> it's all flat, not many turns. So. so I was driving. I was following my father who also has a bike going too fast in the turn. And I didn't, I didn't thought I would make it. A car who came from the opposite direction and I just made a bad reflex to put, to put on some uh, front brake and my front tire slipped away and I immediately uh, smacked on my shoulder uh, and yeah, slid it uh, on the side of the bike. Uh, luckily, the bike doesn't have any damage except from some small scratches. Uh, of course, my arm was open. I just I just wore a T-shirt, so my pants was ripped, and my ankle was also uh, was also damaged. Yeah, it was the first time I I, I fell. With my uh, with the motorcycle in general, so it's a scary uh, experience. I wasn't riding very fast, maybe 30 miles, uh, no no miles, but 30 kilometers per hour. So, and uh, the thing that my father said uh, was <laughs> very funny. Uh, what are you doing here, lying on the ground? Like, and I'm like, what? I just I just fell, man. It really opened my eyes. And normally I I always wear protective gear. And that's the reason uh, I will always keep doing, keep doing it, even uh, even if the weather is hot like like the, like today. It's I think uh, today it will be more than 30 degrees. And uh, I don't care if I sweat in my leather jackets. I don't care. I don't care if, if I have uh, sweaty balls or whatever, man. At least I'm I'm protected. I don't know uh, if I, I wear uh, special protective jeans. I don't know if it is uh, protective enough against uh, speeds like 120 kilometers per hour or 140 kilometers per hour. It's a uh, special jeans. It, uh, it has also CE protection. It's uh, with Kevlar, Kevlar inside, double stitching or whatever, uh, normally it should be strong, but I have seen the damage and I have witnessed myself the damage it, you have on yourself, it, even if you fall at a very low speed. It still uh, hurts on my ribcage, or uh, how do you call it, I don't know. Still hurts a little bit, so... I don't want to imagine... The pain you have when you fall at 150 kilometers per hour, uh, really. Uh, you can't really think about... The possible things that can happen. Or you can better uh, you can better put your bike in the garage and never drive it again. 
it's one of those things uh, okay if you drive a bike uh, you, someday you will fall but my uh, my uh, message to the people is <coughs> wear some protective gear wear high shoes wear uh, protective pants jackets gloves when I was in Spain I saw people driving sports bikes with uh, with barely no clothes <laughs> they have a, a shorts t-shirts and uh, slippers on their feet so <laughs> slippers can you imagine oh my god man if you fall it's gonna burn like a motherfucker and sometimes they their girlfriend is on the back also in the bikini little shorts hot pants or whatever if they not only the pants will be hot but her legs also and her feet and her arms but it's it's very tempting uh, in in very hot weather to to not wear protective gear but it's not very smart to do there was a, a boring message maybe but I just want to uh, explain my experience before it happens I was oh yeah I have to wear protective gear but okay not really thinking about the consequences but now I have fallen myself at a very low speed luckily things could have been worse if I would have driven maybe 10 kilometers per hour faster I would probably would have hit the car who came in the opposite direction so uh, what the hell what the hell is happening man bus with kids.